She told us na magsulat daw og Psalm 91 outside sa balay. Because that's like the verse of protection. Parang ganun, no? Balcon. But anyway, so today I will share to you. I think pakita niyo man sa ano sa tagnan sa sa title na why we have framed Psalm 91 sa aming uh, what's this sa entrance ng aming house. But um, ikikwento ko yung mga bakit yan ang nakalagay dito sa harap ng bahay namin. So okay, pero actually. Actually, ang ako ang vlog dito English Tagalog Bisaya. Pero, anyways, <laughs> gulo gulo. So, this is our ano, kani siya nga area. This is the, our chair. Chair ni na mo, like, before pa ko na taon na ni siya na chair. So, I'm already 32, so it's like more than 32 years old. Guba na ni siya, actually. This is uh, my father's favorite spot. So, every afternoon, dili siya nagasti dati when he was still alive. So, we kept it here. I like sitting here also, no? So, so we will remember him. But, ako kasi, gusto na ko, pag nakoy house kayo, nakoy ka ng moraganig ka ng uh, memory wall, ka ng katulad sa Team Kramer, pero social lang nilang version. Pero, wala may space sa mong house. So, dali na lang sagawa sa mong balay. Kaya kasi, naman dyan mga frames na ginabutang si Mama Ani. So, kanya siya, these are like ka ng, kumbaga, parang mga mantra na, mga things that we, we believe. Kumbaga, when you enter our home, this is like, this is like the values that we live by. Ginapanin kamuta namo. It's like when we enter here, we will remember what are the things that are most important sa amu ah in our family. So explain ako tanan ha before we go to the story behind the frame Psalm 91. So this one is have courage and be kind. This is like uh, to always remind us to be kind, especially ako no kay medyo hot-tempered ko sa high. This one is um, about service. My mother is serving sa church as a choir member. Nagkat siya ganap sa church actually. She goes to the church for like three times a week. Three times a week siya halos may simba. So this is kanyang reminds us that uh, kumbaga, this reminds us na we have to serve little that we, it's a little ways that we can. Okay, this one is my ano. This is like if you're watching my vlog, you're always gonna get a spread love. Yay! This is the image of Mama Mary. This is actually Immaculate Heart, manite. Tama ba? Yeah. One of the two hearts. Because the patron saint ng lambahon is Sacred Heart of Jesus. So, eto yung parang huh? Immaculate Heart. Murag daw yung ni Venus. Si Venus ang nasa camera. <laughs> Pero, si Mama kasi, my mother is a Marian devotee. He, she prays the rosary every morning. Which is amazing. She's our, my mother is like our parang prayer warrior, no? And then this one is, ano, parang, to remind us, to remind us that we have to, you know, trust and be brave because God is with us and we are ought to be successful. Parang we are designed to be successful. This is Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and the future. Kani siya nga, every time na ako ginaplano sa ko ang life, na ako go like a uh, master's or anything, I will always be reminded of this verse. No, I think familiar kayo nito. And then this is the image of the Divine Mercy. My mother is a devotee of the Divine Mercy. So that's why it's here outside. And then this one is about my love life. Elite. <laughs> Lapit tayo. He made everything beautiful in its time. This is Kumbaga, kaya yung personal ni siya for me. Kaya kasi, di ba, I'm still not married and I believe that the right one will come at the right time. So, pag ako yung nababagot, yun, wala ko man, Lord! So, this will remind me. He made everything beautiful in His time. Okay, so let's go na here sa Psalm 91. 
So, quick story, no? Tate, uh, so, if you are from Baganga, or you may have known this, no? Baganga was hit by Typhoon Pablo last December 12? 2012. December 4 or 3 or 4? I think that's December 3 or 4. I'm done. 3 or 4? Anyway, that's December 2012. Baganga was hit by Typhoon Pablo. It was hard hit. Our town was hard hit because this is like dari ang ano land uh, landfall kung baga. No, few months before that, uh, one of the kanang friendly mama who who is known to have visions, something like that. She told us na magsulat daw og Psalm 91 outside sa balay because that's like the verse of protection. Parang ganon no. And then si mama. So, wala man siya ka ng computer ato. Ginawa niya, kartolina na blue. I can remember it. That's blue light. Blue, blue. Tapos, gisulat niya, pen, pencil, pen. Like, handwritten siya. Gibutang niya dari sa gawas sa among balay. Dili ko tayo na niya ang wall na mo. Gibutang niya dari sa gawas sa among balay. And my, my, my auntie, the kapatid of my mom, kaya nakalimot siya ang butang. <laughs> Pero, so, when Typhoon Pablo hit our town, our house is the only house na nag-stand within this area. So, lahat na dara, natumba na sila dara tanan. Yeah, so, kaya na siya dara na area. Makita na ni mo dara ang karsada, right, no? And then here, makita na ni mo ang dagat. So, that's how it was hard hit. So, basically, lahat na nakatayo ay natumba. So, that's what happened. Our house has seven coconut trees na nakapalibot din. Lahat ng coconut trees na nakapalibot sa among house is natumba siya. None of those ni igo sa among balay. So, mura gani siya giprotektahan, no? Um, ang ni igo lang din sa among house is isa lang siya ka coconut tree tapos natabu, na, nasabod siya sa mango tree. Tapos, ang punuan na lang sa coconut tree, dala siya sa center sa among sala. So, wala siya na-destroy ang among ang mga furniture and anything. And all of our appliances work. Wala bit siya na unsa. Now, one typhoon Pablo hit our town. So, nangatumba ang mga houses, no? So, it's like, it's like everyone had a new house. So, except for our house kasi wala siya na damage. Ang atop lang ang na damage siya iya, ha? So, pag magsunod ang mga tao dari, they will be like, they will be like, wala jing, same lang lagi gihapon ang among um, imang house. So, we believe na kanang, this is like kanang kumbaga symbolic siya sa pag-retain sa among house. So, so, kad ato, we always had a frame Psalm 91 there is a house. Tapos, kuha po lang ni siya na version. Yes. I have this favorite verse here, kanang. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. And then this one to in verse 5. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Yan. So, yun yung favorite verse ko in this, ano. Um, I'll probably show you kasi when my books when I was in college okay, kasi bata, uh, college pa lang ako my mother will always tell me to pray Psalm 91 and I always pray Psalm 91 lahat ng mga books review books ko ng college has Psalm 91 show you the picture here yan so before I would start my review I would pray Psalm 91 especially right now that we are in this time of pandemic it's it's important that we also held strong of our faith I hope you find this video helpful and um, yun lang po. I hope you were also blessed by our story. Thank you very much po. I hope you like it. Please click the thumbs up and subscribe. Once again, it's me, Miss Jen. See you!